Hello everybody. Well, spring is definitely in the air here, so I think it's about time we had another look around my garden. So please join me. One of the flowers that you often see adorning balconies here in Mallorca are geraniums, and geraniums do very well here. And I think these need to go somewhere in the garden, but at the moment they're just sitting quite happily moment they're sitting quite happily on the table here and being watered every day. And aren't these a little bit of sunshine in the garden? I found these in the shop in the garden centre in York Mayor and I just fell in love with them. I had to buy three lots of those which I planted and the sun comes out and out they come. And also from the garden centre in York Mayor is this lovely salvia. This is really nice as well. On my previous video, I showed you the buds of this amazing orchid. And as you can see, they have come out and how beautiful and spectacular are those. There are one, two, three, four, five, six stems full of buds and flowers. How beautiful are they? I hope the bees love them as well. And a little bit of contrast of colour here is this orange. I can't remember what this is called. I'm sure somebody will tell me. Something to do with a lily, I would imagine. But this comes every year. Still hanging on here are the Christmas cyclamens. I think these do stay for a whole year. I just keep pulling out all the dead ones like that. And they keep coming back. When we arrived back from our lovely holiday in Benidorm, on the table as we got in were these lovely pots here and a candle present from Adam and Jamie and the girls for Mother's Day. How beautiful are these? And these daffodils are just starting to come out. They weren't out at all when we had them, but now they're coming out in the spring sunshine. Something else that caught my eye in the garden centre a few weeks ago was this lovely yellow. I just love all these lovely colours. And this is, I think it's called a citisus, but this is one that really attracts the bees as well. And it's very, very colourful. It does actually make a bit of a mess, but that doesn't matter. And this is sitting on my new table. If you saw my Ikea video, then you will, or, is it, or Ikea video, I can't remember. Anyway, if you saw the Ikea video, then you'll know this is the, this is the new table that we got from Ikea. Free. And these are my agapanthas, hopefully going to have a few flowers on these this year. I have planted two new ones in the middle there. So let's hope that we have some nice agapanthas coming soon. When we went to the museum last week with Cliff and Debbie to the Bacia Blanca, lots and lots of these are hanging from the trees. And this is my air plant. This is quite, quite old as well, but hopefully it'll have some flowers as well. These just grow in the air. That's supposed to be a solar light, actually, but it never lights up. So here's me from in the tree. And just to say that we're still getting oranges and still having some oranges. Not very many left, but lots and lots of new growth coming on it. New little oranges ready for next time. But here's an orange which you can have later on. One of my favourite Julia Donaldson books to read to my grandchildren, and theirs as well, I hope, is Stickman. I'm Stickman, I'm Stickman, I'm Stickman, said he, and I want to go back, and Luna says, to the family tree. And this is my own Stickman here. He's got his arms, he's got that thing on his head to stop the cats jumping on him, and his lips come from the museum in Alcudia. Marilyn Monroe lips from the Basablanca. Blanca. 
So my rhododendron seems to be a little bit of stalemate in the garden. This is nearly a year and a half old and still nothing's come out on it yet, but it still seems quite happy. It's well installed in the watering system, so it does get watered. We have got the watering system set up now and it seems to be doing a good job. One of my dad's favourite flowers were roses and I love them too. And I do have several roses in the garden and they seem to be doing quite well. They, they're out quite a lot. And here's just a few, what beautiful colours they are. And lots and lots of buds as well ready to come out. And over here, different colour rose. This too, just take all these dead things off. And this one I think is like a pom-pom rose. This is in a pot. This seems to do quite well. Beautiful as well. They don't actually... Oh, that one does. Oh, it does smell. Smell. You smell. You have to stick your nose really close though. So both the orange and lemon trees are doing really, really well, but also I have this lime tree, which is from Esther in the garden centre, and for the first time ever, it's got lots and lots of little buds coming on it, so I really do hope that I will get some limes for my martini. Something else that smells really beautiful in the garden is this jasmine. It's finished a bit now, but it's absolutely beautiful. It's done really well there on the fence. I've just got a couple of herbs at the moment because they don't seem to be do, do very well when I've got them over in the garden. I've got them in pots. I've got some parsley here and some mint. So we need to make something with them. Maybe some uh, bean salad with the mint. Smells good. Mm. I hope you've noticed I've got my nice t-shirt on here, my polo shirt from the wonderful concert that we went to last year, which we still often talk about. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm too hot. I've got to go in. It's really, really hot. But thank you for watching the video and I hope you enjoy my garden. Bye. <laughs>